I've been Googling, trying to find a house at Hot Springs. And I figured out, they're right there, overlooking, you know, Tangaroa. We are gonna go for a seven mile hike to find them. <laughs> Forget that, they're right there. Oh! <laughs> Woo! Do I stall here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, uh... Are you ready for adventure? Subscribe now because we're getting ready for the Great Siberian Sushi Run. We're gonna go do a little bit of. Oh, that's a lot of prawn food. We are currently anchored in Matilda Inlet, which is near a house it on Flores Island in Clackwat Sound. Now you may be wondering why we're here. Well, we have heard that there is a secret a house it hot springs and if you know us we love hot springs but first let's go explore a house it oh and by the way along with you we also have our friends brian and tina on board we didn't know. No and stuff. they brought That's us perfect. some of our Throw secret bait for prawns right tin cat the food cover. blaine would deal with it look at all that prawn food there oh we're gonna catch it's some big feast. prawns it's gonna be good yep seafood feast perfect yay Okay, Blaine's doing dishes. Brian just did some. Brian did most. We're in a beautiful little anchorage. Um, I'm gonna go pull up the crab trap and we're gonna wander around. Good plan. Surprise! What is that? So there's Tangaroa and we're out exploring. It's like a water pipe or something. No clue. Well, I'm wondering if it's pulling up water or it's just there. I don't see it going on to shore. Check out this little lake in here. Hey bear! Seems like there should be a bear around here. Hey bear! <laughs> this is how we call bears. Oh, a jellyfish running over. What do you think this boat is from? It's like a half a boat. Oh, the stories this boat could tell. Oh, this is shallow. <laughs> it's not bad. Okay, that's pretty cool. Cause like you can see the rest of the boat, just half of it's gone. There's a little gear in it. By the way, if you want real-time updates about what's happening on board Tongaroa, check out our new YouTube membership. There is so many perks, I know you're gonna love it. And after exploring the offshoot of Matilda Inlet, it was time to head back to Tongaroa and actually explore the anchorage around us. What's the great thing about going, you know, gunk holing is stuff you find everywhere. So we're coming into the corner of this bay, which is very shallow, and it's like a big rusty tank right there. Oh no, I hit the bottom. <laughs> it's really shallow here. <laughs> Oh, so cool. Like that's a big tank. And nature's taking it over again. Kind of cool debris, but I don't know what it is. Is that a bathtub over there? Where? The far right. Uh, I don't know. Over there? Okay. I don't know. Bathtub. I know where you're looking, but oh. I don't... Oh yeah, maybe. Or a sink. Sink. Pretty big. Oh, and while checking out this corner of the inlet, oh, we no. were rudely interrupted. <laughs> Can you see what's making that horrible mosquito like sound? <coughs> yep, Blaine and Brian had decided to do a little bit of spying on us with the drone.
And then it was time to check the crab trap because we really wanted some nice, big Dungeness crab for dinner. <laughs> what? What do you need me to do? Nothing. Hole in rope? Sorry about the big knot in the line. I'll deal with that later. So, what do you think? Did we catch any? Yes. Let's see if we catch anything. It's heavy already. I'm just trying to put the rope in here. You can make sure the rope goes in the basket. It's between 40 and 50 feet deep here, and to me, that is the perfect depth to catch Dungeness crabs. No. No. Well, that sucks. Yeah. I think I'll put over the other place. Okay. Nothing. We did not catch anything. You guys look like you have a rough life. No, no, no crabbies. Luckily, we still had salmon in our freezer from Steveston, which I cooked up on a piece of cedar plank, which I found at a lumber yard. Let's just say it was yummy. Kind of what it's all about. Just a little bit of pink. <laughs> what? Nothing. That didn't sound very good, did it? <laughs> Let's just say Tina and Brian have the same sense of humor as Blaine and I. Good morning, it's raining, and as you can hear from Maggie, she is excited to go to shore. Right, Maggie? Even in the rain. Okay, let's get in the dinghy. So we put out the crab trap last night. I don't know if there's crabs in here, but I'm going to go pick it up because then we're going to go on an adventure. We're going to go check out a houseit, which is a First Nations village here, and supposedly there's a houseit hot spring. I don't know. But come for our adventure and maybe we'll learn some history about a house it also. Oh, and we need to go to the house it store because hopefully they have a mouse trap. We really need to catch that mouse that's on board. Maggie, should we go pee first or get the crab trap first? Pee? Okay, let's go find a place to go for a pee. Let's go explore all this old leftover stuff here and try to figure out what it's from. Oh, there's an old bucket or something. What is that? Oh, let me get off of it before without slipping. like a tin bucket. Like the inside of a pressure cooker. That's kind of cool. Maggie, don't go too far. There's some really neat stuff left over here and nature's kind of taking it back over. So we're just going to climb over here and check out what there is. Now that is a massive tank of some sort that Maggie just walked across. go across this way. These rocks are so slippery right now. Look at that. And there was a tarp in there. Look at all the metal. It's just falling apart. Wow. Actually, 
massive tank. Look at that. It's just... So there's the end. And there's the end. No clue what this tank is for. But it is huge. very similar to the tank we found out and around the edge there and there was a tarp here the tarp is going back to nature we need all the plastic and then check out these bathtubs I guess this is like the bathtub graveyard there's one there there's one over there and then I wanted to know what that blue thing was so we're gonna go check that out because that is an unnatural color in nature Maggie, we lost the dog. Maggie, come here. Well, you know what this is. This looks like an old, just a handle off a bag. Like the cloth reusable bags, it's exactly what it is. I'm gonna take that back to the boat, just throw it in the garbage. It does not deserve to be here. So, huh, that's very cool. And there's Tangaroa. Look at these bathtubs, they are just wrecked. What a way to dispose of stuff. But at least nature starts taking it back over. So, good on nature. Okay, let's head back to the boat. Look what I found there. It's like an old backpack, lunch kit. Huh. So interesting what you find beachcombing. So much human garbage. Plastic bags, hate those. So I'm guessing when the tide comes up, it floods in here and brings all the garbage in. So I was gonna head back to breakfast, but realize I gotta pick up the crab trap first. So um, let's go do that. I'll take that and throw it in the garbage on the boat. It's like a DeWalt razor knife or Home Depot special razor knife. Not sure which. Hey Maggie, let's go. Come on, on the boat. Then it was time for round two with the Matilda Inlet crabs. What do you think? Will we have any Dungeness crab in our trap this time? Definitely eelgrass here. The crabs like eelgrass. Oh yeah, I haven't dealt with that knot yet. You gotta get rid of that knot. Oh, now we got the trap off the ground. Oh, all the chicken's gone. This is why you shouldn't leave a crab in over an or a crab trap overnight. Because little crabs, they come eat the chicken. And they leave. They're so smart. They know how to open these. So I might put some more food in there and just leave it while we go for a hike. That's what I'm gonna do. Blaine's office this morning. What are you doing? I'm tuning. I'm adding in safeties for oil pressure and coolant, seeing as I don't have good gauges at the moment. Um, I want to make sure that if it has a problem, it'll either a shut the engine down if it's an oil pressure problem or B, limit the RPM if it's a coolant problem. So you're actually tuning our engines right here in the anchorage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so wild. Exactly. And in case you're new here, over the past four months, we replaced our old mechanical Detroit diesels with electronic Cummins engines. Now Blaine can tune them and he's a very happy boy. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> That's so wild. 
and it's basically a combination of logic and tables to make it do what I want it to do. Okay. And they're going to run even better than coming up here. Uh, yeah, I've already got those changes made, so hopefully those work out well. But, nice. Yeah. Are you excited to go for a walk with us? Yeah. That should be good. Cool. So I've been Googling, trying to find a house at Hot Springs. And I figured out they're right there, overlooking, you know, Tangaroa. We are going to go for a seven mile hike to find them. <laughs> Forget that. They're right there. We're going to sit in our hot springs and overlook Tangaroa. <laughs> but first, we wanted to put the crab chop down for a third time, go explore a house it and check out the general store. First, we have to go to the house it store and find a mouse trap. Oh. We got to go catch a mouse. In last week's video, we found a mouse on board and he was still enjoying a free ride. And then we're going to go to the Warm Springs right there after. I don't think that's our corn. I think that's an apple. Yeah. Or garbage. We're going back for the can. <laughs> See, there's another water pipe coming down to the water. Doing great, Blaine. What's that? Doing great. I'll put some weight on the bow. Oh, that's over there. Okay, one rock here. You may hit. You're good. We're on an adventure. Okay, it's getting deeper. Look at the cool moss hanging. Well, there's a whole little town back here. Yeah, you didn't see that? I think that's what you see. Well, yeah, but not this side. side. It's cool to see the yeah, beaches in front sure. of that. No, but not this side. It's kind of cool. Now, this was the actual town of a house. It. In August 1864, the trading vessel Kingfisher arrived at a house at territory and anchored in Matilda Inlet, right where we were now, to trade goods. But the visit ended in tragedy. Captain James Stevenson and his crew lured young Ahousa girls aboard with treats, gave them alcohol, and sexually assaulted them. This sparked outrage among the Ahousa people, especially Chief Kapcha, whose daughter was a victim. In retaliation, Kapcha and his warriors killed the crew of the Kingfish and sank the ship right here in Matilda Inlet. The colonial authorities responded by sending gunboats to Ahousa territory, leading to bombings of Ahousa villages and significant loss of life. During the attack, a young mother died protecting her toddler, who was later taken by the naval captain and named Maggie Sutledge, symbolizing the trauma inflicted on the Housett people. Despite this violence, the Housett warriors stood strong. Some were captured and taken to Victoria for trial, but were acquitted because they were not Christian. The Housett saw this as a victory, having defended their land and people against colonial forces, even though they suffered losses of life and property. It's high tide. There's a whole harbor in here. The word a house, it means facing opposite from the ocean or people living with their backs to the land and mountains. As of 2021, 2,224 people lived here. I wonder where all the boats were going. Out to sea, yes. Going under. Another John boat up in the trees. Oh, look at that. There's their longhouse. Mactusis. Fisheries and Ocean. Small Craft Harbor branch. Meaning we could dock right there. We'll go for a walk if you guys want. Anybody? No walking. Want to cut through? You mean walk up there? Yeah. Okay. See, they got their own loading crane. They're loading off um, ice and everything. That's what we need on our yacht boat. Go so high up. They're kind of crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I thought that was going to be a thing, but it's just... Oh, that's a, that's a tug, uh, a barge. What? That's a barge. That is a barge. Huh. It was interesting to see all the different types of boats docked and anchored in a house it. 
Oh yeah. Oh cool. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it's a unicorn floaty. We need to get the unicorn no. floaty. No, we do not. Nope. It's somebody's unicorn. This is like Pirates of the Caribbean at uh, Disney. Broken boats. This is where everything goes after storms. A couple kayaks. Surfboard or something. Or paddleboard. Or paddleboard. What do you hear? There's houses up there. Oh, right there. Whoa. What is this in the water? Yeah. You kind of need to. Uh, something sunk like there, too, eh? Motor! So we needed a new motor, right? We actually weren't that surprised on how many abandoned boats there were on the shoreline, mainly because it's really hard to dispose of things properly when you're out in these remote islands. And then we pass the beautiful welcoming poles that flank the entrance into a house at Harbour. They were carved by Master Carver Sanford Williams, and they represent the great Chief McQuinna, who, in the late 1700s, extended the hand of friendship and trade to Captain James Cook. And before Captain James Cook, the Spanish explorers who came to this site. And soon we were docking at the Ahaza General Store. Unfortunately, we had Maggie with us because we didn't realize that no dogs were allowed at the General Store. Thankfully, Iris, the owner of the store, was kind enough to secure her dog so Maggie could come with us. Oh, I got her. Okay. Candy Blaine. Well, lucky you. But I need a mouse trap. Are you Iris? Yeah. Oh, I like your Facebook updates. We were reading it on when the store was open. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was good. No, I just that first. Do you think a mouse will get killed in those? No. It might go right over the top of yeah. him. He's just a little guy. He might not actually set it off. Or poison? No, I don't want to yeah. be poisoned with Maggie. Huh. The glue boards, but I don't know how well they Oh, let's try that. Oh, I'll take a glue board. I'll take two. Is there how many? There's four in there. Okay, we'll oh, take one. Perfect. Yeah. That works great. Thank you so much. Because we've got some tortilla wraps that he's eating. So a glue board's perfect. Oh, just stick them? Yeah, just put the tortilla Here. right in the middle of the glue boards. <laughs> <laughs> Darn thing. I'm so offended and She was probably waiting for us. Are you? And after the mouse? success of finding a glue board to catch that mouse, it was time to go find the hot spring. If you had tried to find this hot spring by land, it would have been a seven mile hike. By boat, much easier. Left or right of the rock? Yeah, plane left or right of the rock. Is that just a net on top of something? Floats? Yeah, maybe. Maybe the net's caught up in the tall. Maybe that's what they put there to mark this. They said a fish float. I don't know. Yeah, look at that. Oh. I'm gonna go check out these warm springs. Oh, look it. Oh, I'm still going in here. Oh, it's warm. Oh, look at all the garbage. Cans. I think that's the trail over to the other side. Yeah, I don't know if that's happening. Warm. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think it would. Oh! <laughs> Do I stall here? I'm going to see it. For me you, to keep. you said swimming pool. It's a swimming pool temperature. I'm like, that's yeah, not warm. I might have to, I might have to uh, I'm heated swimming pool <laughs> temperature. Yeah. <laughs> 
Come on, Blaine, get naked. I'm not digging the reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Put your shoes back on. I'm yeah. Put the shoes back on. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, uh. Okay, here's in a hot tub. Well, we can say we did it. Yeah, I did you it. can say you did it. Okay. Okay, can you uh, Good job. Ooh, can you take a picture of me so I can? I am. That's what I'm gonna try. It's very and do. nipply. Mags, yeah. come here. Come here, Mag. Mags. Maggie. Maggie, Maggie, what's this? Oh, my arms are all like, don't come in. <laughs> okay. Okay. Pretend it's awesome. And as soon as that picture was taken, I got the heck out of there. Okay, Blaine wussed out. Blaine did not go in the hot, warm spring oh, tub. Did not help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, ee, oh. <laughs> it was cold. Oh well. So really, life's all about adventures, right? <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> he likes to do that. I'm coming in. Oh, like, look. Oh, this is warm. This is part of the spring coming down. Are you, uh... Now it's time to go see if we have some crabs. What do you guys think? We have crabs? No. Mm. That oh. isn't a very good question though, is it? Uh, do you have crabs? Do we have crabs? Judging on the past performances, I'm gonna say no. Really? Hey, look, that's a good video of all of us all you together. You've instilled a great amount of confidence in everyone, Jen. You guys all suck. Crabbing. We're gonna catch some crab. I'm hoping we do. But maybe. the realist in me is saying, We have to, not. don't, is that what the life coaches say? Be a life coach, you have to manifest crab. <laughs> Meanwhile, all the crab are sitting around the trap, they're having a little get together, and they're like, all right, everybody, we gotta get in and get out real fast. Like, she's got to come get me. going for 20 minutes. <laughs> so, <laughs> synchronize your watches. Okay, go, go, go. <laughs> eat the food, eat the food, get out. Get out now. Or heck, they don't even eat the food. Do my leg? Yeah. <laughs> it's a good look. <laughs> okay, can you turn off the motor? We're right by the rope. Uh, I don't suck. I don't have it in gear. Oh well. It usually doesn't suck anything up unless you put it in gear. Oh it feels really heavy. That's because you're up. dragging the whole boat. <laughs> what do you think Brian? Mm, um, mm. I'm I'm hoping that we have some crabs in there, <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, yeah, we got crabs. We got little ones. Nothing we're gonna be eating. <laughs> That's some of the smallest crabs I've ever seen. Are they like little like, baby crabs? Uh, crab trap. They're so small. They're little. What color are they? Are they little. Why are they purple? What are the purple crabs? They can almost fit between the... I know, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Speak of the devil. <laughs> felt, I felt for your toes all the time. Look at it. He's so he's, tiny. He's, they're pretty tiny. He's even got barnacle on him. They're so tiny they haven't even learned to try to pinch people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we tried people. He's slimy. He's missing that claw. No, the, the other one, the other was, one too. was too. Hang on. One moment, one moment, one moment. But look at his little mouth. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 He's saying, Oi! Put me in the water! The smallest group of crabs I've ever seen. This is how you make them really big. This is, yeah, exactly. Look Massive at crab! Oh my god! Except no. for everybody seeing your nail compared little to the crab, and they're like, yeah, that's not a big that's got to be the smallest one of all of them, right there. He's got a wee little crab claw. It's my strong hand. <laughs> I'm right handed. <laughs> He's right handed. Okay, you get out of there. Just get out, just get out. Oh, you gotta, what are you doing on here, buddy? Bye. Well, that was fun, guys. Uh, all right, let's go back to the boat. Hey, we caught crabs. Yep. Who said we weren't gonna catch any crabs? I was totally thinking you were going to get crabs. I definitely I don't know what you're talking about. was hoping for it, but wasn't <laughs> expecting anything edible. We caught five crabs. Nothing edible. <laughs> we had crab legs. See, Gally. Okay, let's go. Yep, didn't work out all that well for Janice.
And with that, Blaine is starting the engines, Stella and Portia. And we are going to start lifting the anchor and head off to our next spot. But I house it, you're absolutely beautiful with awesome people. So thank you very much. Stella started, no issues. Love it. things to fix is the anchor goes off the roller and it's chewing through the aluminum so Blaine has to put um, eventually some more aluminum on the edges so to stop the chain. Are you ready to see where we're going next? Just looking at the chart and there's this little mark there and the sailboat is anchored near it. So we had to do a bit of investigation. So if I come in here and it's called Kraken Falls and I look up properties, somebody wrote, Kraken Falls is a fantastic hidden a 90 to 100 foot waterfall that feels like it's from another world. <laughs> you know, we got to stop. What do you think? You want to go see the Kraken Falls? I know I do. But it says, if you have the chance to see it, you absolutely should. And getting there is a challenge, which makes this even more special. Um, you can only access it by tender, kayak, or paddleboard at high tide. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. So we're going to head up here. We're going to anchor Tangaroa. We're going to jump in the dinghy, and we are going to go find the Kraken Waterfalls. Join us next week as we keep exploring Clackot Sound, starting with Kraken Falls and ending with Bacante Bay. And if you want to see a really cool engine repower, check out this video where we remove our two Detroit Diesel 12V71. Thanks everyone. If you have any questions, throw them below and I promise we'll answer.